the IMF and the World Bank sound great on paper, but in reality it hasn't worked out that way. And people wonder like, why? Why are things going so badly? Why isn't the world economy stable, right? We know the world economy really isn't stable. So there's several reasons for that. One problem is the way the IMF and World Bank, but particularly the IMF, were funded. So how do we get this money? Where was this money supposed to come from to pay for like a hydroelectric plant in Ethiopia or uh, a dam in Argentina or whatever uh, would be necessary for development? The answer was that all the states were supposed to put in some money, right? And this would be kind of like an insurance fund against something bad happening to any one country. So you might say, okay, the United States has to put in $50 million, and Canada has to put in $30 million, and Spain has to put in $20 million, and we'll put that all together and we'll have lots and lots of money, and when something goes wrong, it's there for us to draw on. But the problem was that the IMF was originally endowed with much less money than it was supposed to be. The guy who basically invented all of this was an, a famous economist called John Maynard Keynes. And according to Keynes' plan, the IMF was supposed to be endowed with four times as many resources as it actually was. So the IMF doesn't have enough money to do what it needs to do. And of course, people at the IMF thought, okay, what are we, what are we going to do uh, to get that money? I mean, the problems haven't gone away. We have to deal with them somehow. And the answer is that they went to other states uh, and asked them, can you give us some extra money to help fund this, this loan? And they went to private banks and said, hey, we have enough money for 60% of this loan or 30% or 70%. Can you please give us the rest? Um, and they had quite a lot of work to do sometimes to get the banks to do that. But the important thing for our purposes is that that basically negated the whole point of the IMF because it was supposed to be there to give lower uh, interest rate loans to countries at times when they weren't able to borrow from the private market, right? And by going back to the private market, they kind of annihilated the purpose of their own existence.